हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द पीडी लाइफ साइंस अकेडमी फॉर द हैप्पी लर्निंग नीट एग्जाम की प्रिपरेशन जे विद्यार्थी करते हैं बेसिक कन्सेप्ट लर्निंग आिंकिंग ऑफ कन्सेप्ट जेवड़े गरजे है तवड़े एन सी आर टी बुकम चैप्टर से कंटेट रीड करने आवश्यक है ये करता फक्त एक रीडिंग करूँ चलना नहीं मल्टीपल टाइम्स रिविजन होने गरजे है यात टाड़ाटा करने चांगले नवे अपन सेट के लिए टार्गेट अचीव करना सा पी डी लाइफ साइन्स अकेडमी ने सर्व स्टूडेंट्स जे नीट एग्जाम से प्रिपरेशन करीत ट्वेंटी वन डे रीडिंग चैलेंज की सुरवत के लिए है रोज एक चैप्टर से रीडिंग आप कम्प्लीट करना आहोत हे चैलेंज ज्यादा विद्यार्थ्या ऐक्सेप्ट के लिए डेली टार डेली टार्गेट अचीव के कॉमेंट करूँ संगाइच है सो लेट्स गेट रेडी फॉर टेकिंग रीडिंग चैलेंज ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट थैंक यू ट्वेंटी वन डे बाय चैलेंज डे ट्वेंटी वन रीडिंग चैलेंज चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी बायोलॉजी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज द न्यूरल कंट्रोल एंड द कॉर्डिनेशन As you know the function of the organ and the organ system or organ system in our body must be coordinated to maintain the homeostasis coordination is the process through which two or the more organ interact and complement the function and complement the function of the one another for example when we do the physical exercise the energy demand is increased by the maintaining and increase the muscular activity The supply of the oxygen is also increased. The increased supply of the oxygen necessitate an increase in the rate of the respiration, heartbeat, and increase in a blood volume, blood flow via a blood vessels. When physical exercise is stopped, the activities of the nerves, lungs, heart, and kidney gradually returns to their normal condition. Thus, the function of the muscles, lungs, heart. blood vessels kidney and the other organs are coordinated while performing the physical exercise in our body the neural system and the endocrine system jointly coordinate and integrate all the activities of the organs so that they function in the synchronized fashion in neural system the provides the an organized network of the point to point connection for the quick coordination the endocrine system provides the chemical integration through the hormone and this chapter you will learn about the neural system of the human mechanism of the neural con- coordination like the transmission of the nerve impulses impulse conduction across the synapse and the physiology of the relax action 21.1 is a neural system the neural system of all animals is exposed is composed of the highly specialized cell called as a neurons which are which can be detect receive and transmit the different kinds of the stimuli the neural organization is a very simple in lower invertebrates for example in hydra it is composed of the network of the neuron the neuron system is a better organized in the insect where a brain is a present along with the number of the ganglia and the neural tissues the vertebrate have the more developed neuron system the 21.2 is a human neural system the human neural system is divided into the two part the central neuro- neuron system that is the cns and the peripheral neural system that is the pns the cns include the brain and the spinal cord and is a site of the information processing and the control the pns comprises of all the nerves of the body associated with the cns that is the brain and the spinal cord the nerve fibers of the pns are of two types the afferent fibers and the efferent fibers the afferent nerve fibers transmit the impulses from the tissue or organ to the central nervous system and the efferent fibers transmit the regulatory impulses from the central cns to the concerned peripheral tissues or organ pns is divided into the two divisions called as a somatic neural system and the autonomic neural system the somatic neural system relay the comp- compulses from the 
CNS to the skeletal muscle while the autonomic neural system transmit the impulses from the CNS to involuntary organ and the smooth muscles of the body the autonomic neural system is a further classified for the sympathetic neural system and the parasympathetic neural system visceral nervous system is a part of the peripheral nervous system that comprises the whole complex of the nerve fibers ganglia and the plexus by which the impulses travels from the central nervous system to the viscera and from the viscera to the central nervous system 21.3 is a neuron as a structural and the functional unit of the neural system a neuron is a microscopic structure composed of the three major part namely the cell body dendrites and the exon the cell body contains the cytoplasm with the typical cell organelles and certain granular body called as a nissels granules the short fibers which branch rapid, repeatedly and project out of the cell body also contain the nissels granules and are called as a dendrites these fiber transmit the impulses toward the cell body the exon is a long fiber the distal end which is a branch each branch terminate as a bulb like the structure called as a synaptic knob which possesses the synaptic vesicles containing a chemical called as a neurotransmitter the exon transmit the nerve impulses away from the cell body to the synapse or to neural muscular junction based on the number of the exon dendrites the neuron are divided into the three types that is the multipolar with one exon and the two or the more dendrites found in the cerebral cortex the bipolar with one exon and the one dendrite found in a retina of eyes and the unipolar that is the cell body with the one exon only found usually in a embryonic stage there are the two types of the exon namely the myelinated and the non myelinated the myelinated nerve fibers are the envelope with the schwann cells which forms a myelin sheath around the exon the gaps between the two adjacent myelin sheath called as a nodes of the ranvia the myelinated nerve fibers are found in a spinal and a cranial nerves unmyelinated nerve fibers are enclosed by the schwann cells that does not forms the myelin sheath around the exon and is commonly found in the autonomous and the somatic neural system 21.3.1 is a generation and the conduction of the nerve impulses neuron are excitable cells because their membranes are in a polarized state do you know why the membrane of the neuron is a polarized different types of the ion channels are present on the neural membrane these ion channels are selectively permeable to different ions when a neuron is not conducting any impulses that is the resting the exon membrane is comparatively more permeable to the potassium ion and nearly impermeable to the sodium ion similarly the membrane is the impermeable to the negatively charged protein present in the exoplasm consequently the exoplasm inside the exon contains the high concentration of the potassium and negatively charged protein and the low concentration of the sodium in contrast the fluid outside the exon contains the low concentration of the potassium a high concentration of the sodium and thus forms the concentration gradient this ionic gradient across the resting membrane are maintained by the active transport of the ions by sodium potassium pump which transport the three sodium outside for the two potassium into the cell as a result the outer surface of the exon membrane possesses a positive charge while its inner surface becomes negatively charged and therefore is a polarized the electrical potential differences across the resting plasma membrane is called as a resting potential you might be curious to know about the mechanism of the generation of the nerve impulses and its a conduction along and the exon when a stimulus is applied at site on the polarized membrane the membrane at the site a becomes the freely permeable to the sodium and this leads to the rapid influx of the sodium followed by the 
reversal of the polarized at that side and that is the outer surface of the membrane becomes the negatively charged and the inner side becomes the positively charged the polarized polarity of the membrane at the site a and thus revise reverse and hence the depolarize electrical potential differences across the plasma membrane at a site a and is called as action potential which is which is and in fact terms as a nerve impulses at site immediately ahead a axon for example the site b the membrane has a positive charge on the outer surface and the negatively charged on its inner surface as a result the current flow on the inner surface from the site a to site b on the other su- other outer surface current flows from the site b to the site a to complete the circuit of the current flow hence the polarity of the site is a reverse and the action potential is generated at site b thus the impulse or action potential generated at a site a arises at a site b the sequence of the repeated uh, repeated along the length of the axon and the consequently the impulses is a conducted the rise in the stimulus induce permeability to the sodium is extremely short lived it is quickly followed by the rise in the permeability to the potassium within a fraction of the second potassium diffuses outside the membrane and restore the resting potential of the membrane at a site of the excitation and the fiber becomes the once more res- responsive to the further stimulation 21.3.2 is a transmission of the impulses a nerve impulse is a transmitted from the one neuron to the another through the junction called as a synapse a synapse is a formed by the membrane of the presynaptic neuron and the postsynaptic neuron which may or may not be the separated by the gaps called as a synaptic cleft there there are the two types of the synapses namely the electrical synapse and the chemical synapse at the electrical synapse the membrane of the pre and the post synaptic neuron are in a very close proximity the electrical current can flow directly from the one neuron into the other across these synapses the transmission of and the impulse across the electrical synapse is a very similar to the impulse conduction along the signal ex- single axon impulse transmission across and the electrical synapse is a always faster than that of the across a chemical synapse electrical synapses are rare in our system and chemical synapse a membrane of the pre and the post synaptic neuron are the separated by the fluid field space called as a synaptic cleft do you know how the pre synaptic neuron transmit and the impulses or the action potential across the synaptic cleft to the post synaptic neuron the chemical called as a neurotransmitter are involved in the transmission of the impulses at this synapse the axon terminal contains the vis- vesicle filled with this neurotransmitter and when and the impulses or the action potential arise at axon terminal it stimulate the movement of the synaptic vesicle towards the membrane where they fuse with the plasma the membrane and release their neurotransmitter in the synaptic cleft the release neurotransmitter bind to their uh, specific receptor and present on the postsynaptic membrane and this binding opens ion channel allowing a entry of the ion which can generate a new potential in a postsynaptic neuron the new potential develop may be either the excitatory excitatory or inhibitory 21.4 is a central neural system the brain is a central information processing organ of our body the action act as a command and control system it control the voluntary movement balance of the body functioning of the vital involuntary organs for example lungs heart kidney etc the thermoregulation hunger and the thirst the circadian 24 hours rhythm of our body activities of the several endocrine glands and the human behavior it is also the site for the processing of the vision 
hearing speech memory intelligence emotions and the thoughts the human brain is a well protected by the skull and inside the skull the brain is covered by the cranial meninges consisting of an the outer layer called as a dura mater a very thin middle layer called as a arachnoid arachnoid and inner layer which is the contact with the brain tissues called as a pia mater the brain can be divided into the three major part the forebrain midbrain and the hindbrain the 21.4.1 is the forebrain the forebrain consists of the cerebrum thalamus and the hypothalamus the cerebrum forms the major part of the human brain deep cleft divide the cerebrum longitudinally into the two halves which are termed as a left and the right cerebral hemisphere and the hemisphere are connected by the track of the nerve fibers called as a corpus callosum the layer of the cell which conserve or cover the cerebral cerebral hemisphere is called as a cerebral cortex is a thrown into the prominent folds and cerebral cortex is referred to as the gray matter due to its grayish appearance the neurons cell bodies are concentrated here giving the color the cerebral cortex contains the motor area and the sensory area and the large region are the neither clearly sensory nor motor is in function these region are called as association areas are responsible for the complex function like the intersensory association memory and the communication fibers of the facts are covered with the myelin sheath with the constitute the inner part of the cerebral hemisphere they give and the opaque white appearance to the layer and hence is called as a white matter the cerebrum wraps around the structure called as a thalamus which is a major coordinating center for the sensory and the motor signaling another very important part of the brain is the hypothalamus lies at the base of the thalamus the hypothalamus contains the number of the centers which control the body temperature or for the eating and the drinking it also contain the several grouping of the neuro secretory sensory cells which secrete the hormones called as a hypothalamic hormones the inner part of the cerebral hemisphere and the group of the associated deep structure like the amyc amygdala hippocampus etc forms the complex structure called as a limbic lobe and the limbic system along with the hypothalamus it is involved in the regulation of the sexual behavior expression of the emotional reaction for example the excite, excitement pleasure re rage and the fear and the motivation 21.4.2 is the midbrain the midbrain is located between the thalamus and the or the hypothalamus of the forebrain and the pons of the hindbrain a canal called as a cerebral aqueduct passes through the midbrain the dorsal portion of the midbrain consists mainly of the four round swelling called as a corp- corpora quadrigemina 21.4.3 is a hindbrain the hindbrain comprises the pons cerebrum and medulla also called as a medulla oblongata the pons consist of the fiber facts that interconnect different regions of the brain the cerebellum has a very convolent surface in order to provide the additional space for the many more neurons and the medulla of the brain is connected to the spinal cord the medulla consists of the center which control the respiration cardiovascular reflex and the gastric secretion three major regions make up the brain system midbrain pons medulla oblongata brain system forms the concentration uh, concentration between the brain and the spinal cord 21.5 is a reflex action and the reflex arc you must uh, have the experience the sudden withdrawal of the body part which comes in a contact with the object that extremely hot cold to pointed or animals that are the scary or the poisonous the entire uh, the entire process of the response to the peripheral nervous stimulation that occurs the involuntarily that is without the conscious effect uh, effort and thought 
and requires the involuntary of the part of the central nervous system is called as a reflex action reflex pathway comprises at least a one afferent neuron or a receptor and a one efferent that is the efferent or excitator the neural neuron approximately arranged in the series the afferent neuron receive the signal from the sensory organ and transmit the impulse via a dorsal nervous root into the central nervous system at a level of the spinal cord the efferent neuron then carries the signal from the central nervous system to the efferent the stimulus and the response thus form the reflex arc uh, as shown below in the knee jerk reflex you should carefully study to understand the mechanism of the knee jerk reflex now 21.6 is the sensory reception and the processing have you ever thought how do you feel the climatic changes in the environment do you do you see an object and the its color how do you hear a sound a sensory organ detect all types all types of the changes in the environment and the send the ap- appropriate signal to the cns where all the input input are the process and the analyze the signal are then sent to the different parts the centers of the brain this how uh, this is the how you can sense the change in the environment the sense organs we smell things by our nose taste by tongue and hear by ear and the see the object by eyes the nose contains the mucus coated receptor mucus coated receptor which are the specialized for the receiving the sense of the smell and also the olfactory receptor these are the made up of the olfactory epithelium epithelium that consists of the three kinds of the cells the neuron of the olfactory epithelium extend from the outside environment directly into the pair of the broad bean size organ called as olfactory bulb which are extension of the brain limbic system both the nose and the tongue detect the dissolved chemicals and the chemical signs of the uh, gustation or the taste and the olfactory means the smell are the functionally similar and the in- interrelated the tongue detect the taste through the taste bud and containing a gustatory receptor with each taste of the food or a sip of the drink the brain integrates the differentiate differential input from the taste bud and the complex flavor is uh, perceived in the following section you will introduce to the structure and the functioning of the eyes that is the sensory organ for the vision and the ear that is the sensory organ for the hearing the 21.6.1 is the eyes our paired eyes are located in the socket of the skull called as orbit the brief account of the structure and the function of the human eyes is given in the following section 21.6.1.1 is a parts of eyes the adult human eye balls is a nearly a spherical spherical structure the wall of the eye ball is a composed of the three layers the external layer is a composed of the dense connective tissues and is called as a sclera the anterior portion ante, anterior portion of this layer is called as a cornea the middle layer that is the choroid contains the many blood vessels and the looks the bluish in color the col- choroid layer is a thin over a posterior two thirds of the eyeball but it becomes the thick in the anterior part to form the ciliary body the ciliary body itself continue continues forward to form a pigmented and the opaque structure called as the iris which is a visible color bo- portion of the eyes the eyeball contains the transparent crystalline lens which is held in a place by a ligament attached to the ciliary body in front of the lens the upper uh, the aperture surrounded by the iris is called as a pupil pupil the diameter of the pupil is regulated by the muscle fibers of the iris 
the inner layer of the retina and it contains the three layers of the neural cells the forms the inside to the outside ganglion cell then the bipolar cell and the photoreceptor cell there are the two uh, two types of the photoreceptor cell namely the rods and the cones and these cell contain the light sensitive proteins called as a photopigments the day lights that is the photo photopic vision and the color vision is a function of the cones and the <clears throat> twilight or a scotopic vision of the function function is the function of the rods the rod contain the purplish red po- protein called as a rhodopsin or a visual purple which contains the derivative of a vitamin a in the human eye there are the three different types of the cones which possess their own characteristic the photopigments that respond to the red green and the blue lights the sensation of the different colors and the produced by the various combination of these cones and their photopigments when these cones and the st- are stimulated equally the sensation of the white light is uh, produced the optic nerve leaves the eyes and the retin or uh, retinal blood vessels enter it at the point middle to the middle to and slightly above the posterior po- uh, pole of the eyeball the photoreceptor cell are not present in that region and hence it is called as a blind spot at the posterior pole of the eyes later to the blind spot there is a yellowish pigment spot called as a macula lutea with a central pit called as a fovea the fovea is a thin out portion of the retina where the only cone are the densely packed it is the point where the visual activity uh, visual actually res- resolution is the greatest the space between the cornea and the lens is called as a aqueous chamber and contains a thin watery fluid called as a aqueous humor the space between the lens and the retina is called as a vitreous chamber in the is filled with the transparent gel called as a vitreous humor the 21 0.6.1.2 is a mechanism of the vision the light rays in the vis- visible wavelength focus on the retina through the cornea and the lens generate the potential that is the impulses in the rods and the cones as mentioned earlier the photosensitive compounds uh, that is the photopigments in the human eyes is a composed of the opsin and the opsin a protein and the retinal and aldehyde of the vitamin a the light produces the association of the retina forms the opsin resulting in the changes in the structure of the opsin and cause the membrane uh, permeability change as a result the potential differences as uh, are generated in the photoreceptor cell this p- produces a signal that generate action potential in a ganglion cells through the bipolar cells and this action potential impulses are transmitted by the optic nerves to the visual visual cortex areas of the brain which where the neural impulses are analyzed and the image form on the retina is recognized based on the earlier memory and the experience the 21.6.2 is air the air perform the two sensory functions hearing and the maintenance of the body balance automatically the air can be divided into the three major sections called as the outer air and the middle air and the inner air the outer air consists of the pinna and the external auditory auditory matters that is the canal the pinna contains uh, collects the vibration of the air which produce the sound the external auditory matters leads the inward and the extended up to the tympanic membrane that is the air drum there are the very fine hairs wax uh, secreting glands in the skin of the pinna and the matters the lymphatic uh, the tympanic membrane is a composed of the connective tissues covered with the skin outside and with the mucous membrane inside the inner membrane the middle air contains the three oscular ossicle called as a malleus incus and the steps which are the attached to one another in a chain like the fashion the malleus is the attached to the tympanic membrane and the steps are 
direct steps is attached to the oval window of the cochlea the air ossicle increase the efficiency of the transmission of the sound waves to the inner ear and stachian tube connects the middle ear cavity with the pharynx the stachian tube is a help in the equalizing the pressure on either sides of the eardrum the fluid fill inner ear called as a labyrinth consists of the two parts the bony and the membranous labyrinth the bony labyrinth is the series of the channel and inside the channel lies the membranous labyrinth which is surrounded by the fluid called as a perilymph the membranous labyrinth is the filled with the fluid called as a endolymph the coil portion of the labyrinth is called as a cochlea the membrane consists constituting the cochlea the resina and the basilla divides the surrounding perilymph field bony labyrinths into and the upper scala vestibuli and the lower scala tympani the space within the cochlea called as a scala media is filled with the endolymph at the base of the cochlea the scala vestibula ends at the oval window while the scala tympani terminates at the round window which opens into the middle ear the organ of the co- corti is a structure located on the basilar membrane which contain the hair cells at that act as a auditory receptor the hair cell are present in a row on the inner side of the organ is a corti the basal end of the hair cell is in closed contact and the afferent nerve fibers a large number of the processes called as a stereo cilia are projected from the apical parts of the each hair cell above the row of the hair cell is a thin elastic membrane called as a tec- toria membrane the inner ear also contains the complex system called as the vestibular apparatus the located above above the cochlea the vestibular apparatus is the composed of the three semi circular canals and the otolis the macula is the sensory part of the scula and the utricles Each semicircular canal lies in the different planes at a right angle to each other the membranous canal are the suspended in the perilymph of the bony canal the base of the canal is swallow and the call as a ampulla which contains the projecting ridge called as a crista ampullaris which has a hair cells the saccules and the utricle contain the projecting rigid call as a macula the crista and the macula are the specific receptor of the vestibule apparatus responsible for the maintenance of the balance of the body and the posture the 20.6.2.1 is the mechanism of the hearing how does ear convert the sound waves into the neural impulses and where the sense and the possessive processes by the brain enabling us to recognize the sound the external ear receives the sound waves and directs them to the eardrum the eardrum vibrates in response to the sound waves and these vibrations are the transmitted through the air ossicles or the malleus incurs and the steps to the oval windows the vibration are passes through the oval window on to the fluid of the cochlea where they generate the waves in the lymph the waves in the lymph induce the rip in the basilar basilar membrane and this movement of the basilar membrane bends the hair cells and pressing them against the tectorial membrane as a result the nerve impulses are generated in the associated different different neurons and these impulses are transmitted by the afferent um, afferent fibers via a auditory nerves to the auditory cortex of the brain where the impulses are analyzed and the sound is recognized now the summary of the neural control and the coordination the neural system coordinate and the integrate the function as well as the metabolic and the homeostatic activities of all the organs the neurons the function functional unit of the neural system and excitable cells due to the differentiation differential concentration gradient of the ions across the membrane the 
electrical potential differences across the resting neural membrane is called as a resting potential the nerve impulses is a conduct along the axon membrane in the form of a wave of the depolarization and the repolarization a synapse is formed by the membrane of the presympathetic a synaptic neuron and the post synaptic neuron which may or may not be the separated by a gap called as a synaptic cleft the chemical involved in the transmission of the impulses at a chemical synapse are called as a neurotransmitter the human neural system consists of the two parts the one is a central nervous system see a peripheral nervous system, neural system that is the pns the cns consists of the brain and the spinal cord brain can be divided into the three major parts the forebrain midbrain and the hindbrain the forebrain consists of the cerebellum cerebrum thalamus and the hypothalamus the cerebrum is a longitudinally divided into the two halves that are connected by the corpus callosum and a very important parts of the forebrain called as a hypothalamus controls the body temperature eating and the drinking inner part of the cerebral hemisphere and a group of the associated deep uh, deep structure form the complex structure called as a limbic system which is a concern with the olfaction or atom uh, autonomic response regulation of the sexual behavior expression of the emotional reaction and the mo- motivation the midbrain receives the integrate visual tactic and the auditory Im- input the hindbrain comprises the pons and the cerebellum and the medulla the cerebellar cerebellum integrates the information received from the semicircular canals of the air and the auditory system the medulla contains the center and control respo- uh, control the respiration cardiovascular reflex and the gastric secretion the pons consist of the fibers that are uh, that interconnect the different regions of the brain the entire process of the involuntary responses to the peripheral nervous stimulation is called as a reflex action information regarding the change in the environment is received by the cns through the sensory organ which are possessed and analyzed the signals then sent to the necessary adjustment the wall of the human eyeball is a composed of the three layers the external layer is a composed of the cornea and the scala and inside the scala the middle layer which is called as the cor- choroids the retina the innermost layer contains the two types of the photoreceptor cell namely the rods and the cones the daylight that is the photo photopic vision and the color vision are the function of the cones and the twilights or a scotip scotopic vision is the function of the rods the light enters through the cornea and the lens and the image of the object are formed on the retina the ear can be divided into the outer ear and middle ear and the inner ear the middle ear contains the three ossicles called as a malleus incus and the steps the fluid filled inner ear is called as a labyrinth the colloid the coil portion of the labyrinth is the cochlea the organ of the corti is the structure which contains the hair cells that act as a auditory receptor is located on a basal basilar membrane and the vibration produced in the air drum are transmitted through the air ossicle and the oval windows to the fluid filled inner air the nerve impulses are generated and transmitted by the afferent fibers to the auditory cortex of the brain the inner air also contains the complex system located above the cochlea called as a vestibular apparatus it is influenced by the gravity of the movement and helps us in maintaining the balance of the body and the posture thank you so much